Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks so much for joining. We're headed on vacation tomorrow. It's a beach vacation, and I realized that as I was preparing to organize and pack everything, I really wanted to find the most efficient way to do things, and also how to organize his suitcase so that when we get to our Airbnb, it's super simple and easy to find everything. So of course, I scoured YouTube looking for how other moms do it and what works and what doesn't and I found so much great information I'm so thankful for this platform because honestly I've learned so much here and I hope that in this video you can pick up some tips and maybe learn something new as well I've already started organizing everything and I'm actually ready to pack it all but before I do I wanted to show you guys how I organized it all so if you're new here my name is Tiana and I have a 10 month old son I can already tell that having everything organized the way that I'm doing it is going to be such a game changer when we show up on vacation. I know it can be stressful and there's a lot to do so just breathe, take your time and hopefully these organization tips will make your packing go by much smoother. Alright, getting right into it, here is my list of packing items that I have for baby and I went ahead and highlighted everything that I already have spread out here on the bed so that I know what I've already collected and I also have the packing cubes up top with labels on everything that should go inside of each packing cube. Big items are stroller, car seat, baby carrier. I'm not bringing a play mat and I'm not bringing a tablet. I decided to bring our phone instead for him to watch Coco Melon or whatever he wants on the plane. And then the first cube we'll go over is food. So everything underneath this cube has to do with his eating and packed food that I'm bringing. So we'll start from here. I have his little bib and his burp cloth. <laughs> I wanted to be on brand, so I'm bringing his little Hawaiian bib and burp cloth. I thought that would be cute. And then we have just an extra burp cloth here that's kind of cute he could wear with an outfit. I have quite a few baby pouches of food, but I think I'm actually going to make food when we're there too. So I think I'm going to bring his little baby food mixer as well. I brought a Tupperware just in case I want to make him food. I can just throw this in the fridge with sweet potato or whatever I decide to make. Then I have his plates and bowls and spoons. And that is the packing cube that all of that will go into. Also, the reason I didn't highlight food is because there are still some utensils, some spoons in the dishwasher that I want to add. So I wanted to make sure not to highlight it so that I know there's still something missing from this category. Next category is toys. So I'm bringing him toys and I'm putting a little strap on them because it helps attach them to his stroller or his body so that they don't fall on the floor on the plane. And then I'm also bringing some scratchy books because he really likes those. So here's his scratchy book that he loves. And then here's the little lanyard that goes on his teething toy. So we're gonna bring that one. And then I have some more lanyards in his diaper bag, which I'll show you the entire contents of the diaper bag after I go through everything, but those are in there. And then here's just another teether toy. He is teething, so all of his toys have a dual purpose. Next category is sleep. Again, I didn't highlight it because we're gonna end up using his sleep sack tonight, so I'm gonna have to repack it once he wakes up in the morning. All right, so this is his section for sleep and I'll go through each item. So I'm gonna bring his nice comfy blanket, and then this is his sleep sack. I'm not gonna pack it just yet, but I wanted to make sure everything fit. And then here are some pajamas for him, two pairs of pajamas, and then we have some extra binkies in case one of them falls. I have two attached to the stroller as well. Okay, we are flying through these. Next up is clothes. So I have this Ikea insert for clothing that I saw as a hack on a couple other people's YouTube videos and it is absolutely brilliant. So let me just walk you through how this works. 
So I got this set at Ikea. It's not necessarily an <laughs> Ikea insert, but I think it's for like underwear or socks or things like that. So since we had this extra, nobody was using it. I was like, perfect. I don't even have to buy one. I already have it. So I have this set up in categories so that anytime we're trying to dress baby, we know where everything is. So this row is all of his onesies that are shorts. And I think he'll mostly be wearing those since it's gonna be so warm where we are. And then this row is t-shirts and onesies that don't have shorts that are just regular onesies. And then we have shorts. And then these are specialty items. So like this is an Aloha shirt that's so cute. My husband actually wore this in a photo when he was a baby in Hawaii. So we kind of wanted to recreate that and we are bringing this shirt along with us. I can't believe his mom preserved it so well. So we are going to have him wear that for something. And then just some more of his little Aloha clothes and then socks. And we have one pair of pants because we're probably not gonna need that. And then just a long sleeve onesie here. Next in his clothes section are his shoes. We are waiting on one more pair of shoes that's supposed to be arriving today, a pair of sandals, which I'm sure he'll need in Hawaii, but just a couple pairs of shoes for him. We're gonna skip over diaper bag to the end because there's so many things, but next is basics. So the way I have this worded in here is bath and hygiene. So this is his little bath and hygiene <laughs> cube. So we got washcloths, we have his little baby towel with the little panda face. This is for over his head. And then we have his toothpaste, toothbrushes, this is his baby soap. This is his baby lotion, both from Tubby Todd. And then I have his electric nail file. I love this thing. So all of that will go into his bath and hygiene cube. Plane ride had a little bit of coffee spilled on it, so don't mind the mess. But I'll go over this when I go over diaper bag because a lot of these things are also in the diaper bag. Last category here is swim. So I have this highlighted. Everything that we need for swim is already here. So this is our last little organization cube. I have a few rash guards on hand and I heard that it's good to have more than one because if one is wet, you don't wanna to have to put a wet rash guard on the baby. So it's nice to have multiple. And then I have his Aveeno baby sunscreen for his face and then this one for his body and I could not resist these cute little sunglasses. Does he need sunglasses for our beach vacation? Probably not, but how adorable are these? I cannot wait to take a picture of him in those. And then we have a couple beach hats. This is the beach hat I had originally, which is great, except it didn't cover his neck. So I like this one because it has a little bit more coverage and it stays on really well because you can adjust it in the back and in the front. And then we have a few swim diapers. I'm just bringing seven of these since we'll only be there for six days. So that's it for our cubes. Pretty simple and straightforward. It did take a long time to accumulate all these things and probably the thing that took the most time was creating this list. So I'll actually link this list below or I'll just include it in the description because it was just so helpful to have this. So in case this is helpful to you too, I'll just copy and paste this to the description as well. Oh wait, I have one more packing cube. I forgot to mention this because it's not for the baby. This is my pumping packing cube. So I'm going to see if my Spectra will fit in here. I'm not sure that it will, but I have that packed. And then I have the LV and all of the LV products in here. So if I can get all of these in his suitcase, I will bring it. But if not, I'll just bring the LV. Okay, here are some things that are not going in packing cubes, but are coming with us, hopefully. So the first item I have is this Baby Cook Biba, I think that's how you say it, Biba Baby Food Maker. These baby item names or product names are so odd, like Biba, Boppy. It's just like the funniest names. My husband and I crack up about it, like who comes up with these names? Anyways, um, I would love to bring this with me so baby's not just eating pouch food the whole time, but we'll see if it fits. And then here's some pouch food for the flight. So these are actually gonna go in our backpack rather than being packed in the suitcase. And then I have his formula. This should last the whole trip. I have some of his little baby crackers. And then I also have his cereal. 
I got this cute little snack cup. It's drying right now, so that's why I have the drying rack out here. Also bringing his bottle brush and the smaller bottle brush. And then I've already put his baby water in the bottle, so these will all go on the plane with us. So what I've heard from other YouTube videos is they do let you bring baby water on the flight. Even though it's over the allotted amount of liquids you're supposed to have, it's still okay because it's considered a medical necessity. And then I have his little sippy cup and we're bringing some of his nighttime diapers. So these are the ones that have like, that are extra strength, <laughs> have extra holds. So I'm gonna bring six of those since we'll be there for six nights. So yeah, still figuring out where to put these, but they won't be in the cubes. I'll have to bring some of these on the plane with me. Okay, so now I have all my packing cubes set up. This is gonna make life so much easier when we get to the Airbnb. Have all my pumping stuff, all of Jetty's clothes, his shoes, all of his bath time stuff. I love the mesh so you can see right through and know exactly what's in here. I know the hygiene and bath stuff is in here. And then I can already see this is for sleep time. This is food items. And then right here is all of his swim stuff. So anytime we're gonna go to the beach, I'll just grab that cube. And I am all about anything to make life easier, especially now that I'm a mom. Life can get pretty hectic, so I am obsessed with organization and any way to avoid being stressed out in the future. And organization has been my best friend in making that happen.
moving on to our diaper bag situation we have a couple bags that we'll be using as our personal item so my husband will bring the diaper bag as his personal item and then i just bought this i am so obsessed with this bag it's sort of like a small weekender bag so it still could qualify as a as a personal item so i'm gonna use this and throw it on my carry-on and there's a little pouch i'll show you guys a little clip of this with this actually on the carry-on but it hooks right onto it and then there's another section underneath it looks kind of tore up right now because it's all crinkled from shipping but this area zips up and it's like a shoe compartment but i'm probably not going to put shoes in there i'm not sure what i'll do just yet but we have a ton of options for storage when it comes to all of these items that we need to bring on the plane so let's go through all of it first i have a couple small blankets swaddles you never know when you're going to need these if it, if it gets cold on the plane or you just want to lay it down for him to sit on just good to have and then these are a couple nursing covers this is my preferred one but i just brought a second one in case it falls on the floor or something and then these are these toy strap-ons that i was talking about they're super cool you basically just string them through whatever toy you want your baby to play with and then this just keeps it from hitting the floor especially in the airplane you don't want any of this stuff falling on the floor in the airport or the airplane so i really am happy with these purchases they're pretty inexpensive too and then his toys which you guys have seen so we'll be packing that for the plane a couple extra outfits so I have two outfits here, and then I also have a sweater. This is the only sweater I'm bringing on the entire trip because it's a beach vacation, Hawaii. It's probably gonna be pretty warm. And then I'm gonna bring an extra pair of socks for him so that on the plane he doesn't have to wear his shoes if he doesn't want to, he can just wear some socks. And then I have a few plastic bags. I saw this on another video to <laughs> make sure to bring some Ziploc bags so that in case he has a blowout, you can sort of contain the smell, especially if it gets on his clothes. So brought a few of those just in case. And then bringing his bib with us on the plane. This is our little medical section. So bringing some Tylenol on the plane. He is teething and I heard it's nice to just have it in case he's not feeling well on the plane, cabin pressure, whatever it is. And then I just pulled these out of our first aid kit. I didn't want to bring the whole thing. So I just brought a few of each item. Then I bought these pacifier wipes. I think these are a great idea because you don't necessarily want to wipe things that are going to go in his mouth with just his regular wipe. So these are great in case his pacifier were to fall on the floor or something. And then I just have some diaper rash cream, a travel size. I've never used this medicine in case his teeth are really hurting since he is teething. I might get desperate and actually use that, but I haven't had to use it yet. This is actually the only medicine I've ever used on him. It's the Highlands Baby Oral Pain Relief. And this seems to do the trick. And then he also has his amber beads on, so we'll have that with us as well. We have a thermometer, a little snot sucker, and then his wipes. And of course his little changing pad. And I have plenty of diapers on the sides. And then there's another compartment at the top where you could even put more diapers, but it's already pretty packed, so I don't even think I need to put any in there. But this fits nicely in his diaper bag. And then we also have these little plastic baggies for his dirty diapers. Now I'm just gonna pack all of that into the diaper bag, and then I'm figuring out what I wanna put in this bag. I think I wanna make this primarily for his food and for our snacks. So I'll show you his food situation right now. I showed you guys this before, but this is the food that we're gonna be bringing on the plane with us. So I'm gonna be putting it in this little insulated bag and it zips up too, so in case there's any spills. I'm bringing plenty of bottles, plenty of formula. So yeah, now I'll just start packing all of this into our personal items. What you doing? Got me up all night, just feeling stupid. For wondering where you are and why we play this same game every other weekend. With my heart in the palm of hand, tear it all apart. Why let you do it? This is just so typical. I'm sick of love.
so much for watching today's video. I hope you were able to pick up some fun tips and tricks on how to pack for an infant. I post videos on everything from motherhood to DIY, lifestyle, and even organization. So if you're interested in any of those things, please be sure to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.